Well, here we are on day 45. Yay. You probably can't tell this from the from the beautiful sky, but it's uh it's raining again. And it's coming down in sheets and then like that. Oh, there we go. And then it just stops. Uh we've got all the pieces that we need for all of our walls over Mion. That big, small, short stack of stuff was all these Z's that were fabbed together and it took about, what, 30 minutes to separate? Mm -hmm. it took about 30 minutes to rock those back and forth what? <laughs> to, <laughs> to get them to separate. We're actually under cover, but we're getting sprayed on. Over there, we got the first pallet of insulation inside the shed. And we've got five more rolls right there. So far, I've only found one roll that was completely, totally saturated where it was like created with the seam facing down, but on top of some waterproof material. So it just kind of puddled. So we got that cut open on its side on blocks draining. Hopefully it'll, because it's fiberglass, it'll drain out. I might have to loosen up the ties on, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, we just thought we'd, uh, I'd turn this on real quick because water was pouring off the roof and spraying us and, you know, beautiful weather. So if we're lucky, <laughs> which I doubt we will be, uh, maybe we can get a few bolts in and maybe get part of this wall up, depending on how hard it starts raining. So if we do, we'll do a time lapse of that. All right, later. Well, it is still raining. Insulation has been moved. Um, I got water on my lens, but I don't think I have anything clean enough to clean it off because, you know, it's Hawaii. Close enough. So, it's still raining, which sucks. And we left a hammer out there, which sucks. But so, here is just a little diagram of beam four. But we're gonna, just for fun on the video camera, do beam wall number six, because we can do this one while like holding it in our lap, literally. So we just have a PC-14 on top and bottom, it's just an open channel, and then in uh, two end channels and a Z in the center. So we have the pieces up here. And we're going to see if we can cut ourselves. Because that's how we do things. I've been hooked. Unhook and get, get out of the way. All right, we need half inch bolts and half inch uh, Probably on the ground somewhere because it keeps falling out of my pocket. inch bolts and half inch nuts. How many? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 24. Okay, well, I don't need gloves to grab that. Nut me. And bolt me. Two? Sure. Watch me hit myself in the head with this. Do you have the drill? Nope. Yeah. 
Okay. Is it in the cargo container? What? Is it in the cargo container? Yeah. Of course, my assistant left. Do you want the jackhammer or the, the impact one or regular? Regular. Well, I brought you both just in case. Remember we have to stand all these up first? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then both way. them all together? Either way. I'm already noticing a problem is that I think they punched these holes too close together. You got a tape measure? Yeah, that I fucked up the holes again because there's supposed to be three inches between those. And I can't tell if that's three or if that's two. 
because it's supposed to be an inch and a half, an inch and a half. It looks like it's a full another inch on the Z. goes in here. Yeah. Put it on this one. Uh, yeah, leave it. Yeah, put it on the front one because we go we gotta go take measure. Because if every one of these holes are off because it doesn't actually measure with three inches, then we have to redo the holes. Yeah, we've got a problem on the entire project. Unless they're just really that far out of true that you just have to... Yeah, see, I'm looking right here. That's where that is. So that does not look like it's punched out an inch and a half. It looks like it's punched closer to two. Where's the measuring tape? The 35. It's in there. Oh, yeah. God, shoot. That's alright, I'll show you guys to the camera. Yeah, dude, I will. It doesn't line up, boss. That's what I was saying. This is supposed to be an inch and a half from here to there, and it's supposed to be three inches between these holes, so those inch and a half plus inch and a half. So there's supposed to be, the hole's supposed to be here. Yeah, but what I'm saying is I gotta measure the hole in the Z, because the Z is supposed to be an inch and a half. Well, maybe if it's. So inch and a half and inch and a half, but if you look here, that is right there against that edge, which looks like it, that's closer to two inches. Which means that the Z's are this punch. Instead of being an inch and a half. Well, anyways, uh, supposedly that's how easily they bolt together. So we're going to get a tape measure and check out a few of the measurements on this and uh, see what's going on. Because there should be inch and a half punch on the Z's. So they should be three inches between the outer flange and the inner flange. You know, max of like a quarter inch off so you can spud it, but this looks like it's close to two inches, so it looks like it's almost four inches in between. All right, we'll check back later. All right, so what we have is we have me, without anybody back checking me, screwing up, and of course it happens to be the very first one. So Bill's holes are two inches apart. They're supposed to be three. So this hole is actually in the right spot. So we need to drill a hole right there on the top and bottom. And that's it, because uh, those are the only holes that attach to this piece. So the other ones are just extra holes in there. So we're gonna drill those and uh, reattach them and then uh, yeah, go about our business, yay. <laughs> Later. All right, we're gonna be calling it the end of the day today. We've had our fun in the not sun. Um, I did a check back through everything that we have out here, and it looks like just the, uh, me being a dumbass, I subtracted the numbers in my head, so the center hole was off by one inch, so we had to drill four holes. But I've already checked all the other beams that we have out here, and they all have the, this is supposed to be three inches. Yeah. So yeah, these are all supposed to be three inches, so all the other beams out here have the three inches. So here's our first two walls. These are the small partial walls that I have for just extra support for the living room. This one's the kitchen and that one's the living room. So this is actually where our metal pan sits on top of. And so this is uh, roughly the height of our living room floor. The actual floor itself will be two inches above this because we got an inch and a half deck pan and a half inch plywood. So, and that sits directly on top of that. So, we'll have a wall that looks like this but runs from all the way in the very first pier all the way to the back pier. And we have those here, over there, 
over here and over there. And then we mark these two and actually bolt them directly to it. And then we drill and bolt them into the ground. So we just have them kind of stuck up there. I'm going to pull them off because the wind will probably blow them over tonight. But yeah, that's kind of uh, how they're going to look and uh, how they bolt together. So as long as I have all the <laughs> holes in the right spot, then they all should just uh, tie together. Hopefully. Okay, that's it. Uh, we'll be out here tomorrow. I have to be at the DMV to register my vehicle to be an official Hawaii car. And then we also have to go to the post office because they only hold your stuff for a week. Otherwise, they like throw it away. And we haven't gone because it's, you know, Christmas. And at 9 o'clock, there's a line out the door. Huh? Do you think we can make it today? They close at 3.30. So tomorrow, no matter what, we have to, yeah, everything goes back there. Uh, mm, I'd prefer not to. Yeah, they probably should be okay. I don't think anybody's gonna walk back here and take them. So no matter what, tomorrow we have to go to the post office and uh, pick up uh, some stuff that I got up there. Okay, so that's it. Have fun. Have a good night. Oh, and uh, I'm gonna try to register my trailer tomorrow also, but I don't know if they'll register it without it being inspected. But I can't get inspected because I can't drive it out the driveway because, well, we tore off our driveway with that green machine. But this is one of the 2,000-pound uh, Harbor Freight trailer kits that I had shipped here. And Alex and I bolted it together inside the storage container. So you just have to get some plywood and get some 3 8 bolts and then you bolt the plywood directly to it. And this one has a flip hinge, so you can actually flip and drive something like, you know, lawnmower or whatever directly onto it. And here's our storage container with Alex. I can lock them in there now. Um, the in here. They're right there. So we got all the insulation in. Um, out of all of them, I had three that had water penetration and but it looks like we got lucky and it was just superficial so one of them i this one here i had to cut i just cut it off because they're two they're two foot long anyways so we just cut that off but you can see the water down there at the bottom of it still dripping out of it and uh so there's part of another one um yeah just you know Hell, I'm surprised that it lasted as good as it did. The fact that it came and spent two weeks going from Seattle to Honolulu, and then it was another two weeks before Honolulu to here for some stupid, strange reason. So, at tomorrow, uh, so we should be out here by 10 o'clock tomorrow, I think. So we should be able to do some uh, time lapse and see exactly how fast we can get these... Uh, walls up it's kind of fun as long as you got the holes in the right spot all right we'll check back tomorrow